welcome now we are getting the data validating it and saving it in the database now we are gonna validate the image for size type else oops else if image size variable that we created here this size attribute returns the size of the image just type image size the name of our variable is greater than here we pro we need to provide size in bytes okay in bytes so uh, you can go to what a byte what's a byte and you can convert megabytes to bytes i don't want you i don't want user to upload images greater than 1 megabyte size okay you can do for 2 5 10 megabyte 20 megabyte i'm doing this for 1 megabyte and type 1 and click here and it will convert that 1 megabyte to bytes okay i'm gonna copy this you can calculate this by yourself it's not tough to do to do that and paste it here if image size is greater than this then what we're gonna do we're gonna say error is equal to image size must be less than 1 oops, 1 MB okay so now let's test this out let me refresh it okay password password uh, I downloaded an image here here its size is greater than 1 MB it it is its size is 1.3 MB okay so there must be an error because it is greater than 1 MB I'm gonna choose this image and I'm gonna upload it see it's working charm image size must be less than 1 MB it's working awesome so that's great you can see image is not uploaded and nothing happened okay and that data is also not in the database okay let me remove these two records we don't need them and let me remove this image too so now you know how we can validate for image size so let me teach you another thing you see when we say we don't need it when we save a data the password is in the plain text if user write its password uh, 1234567 it will be in the plain text and in the password field it will be 1234567 this plain text we don't want that to be in the plain text we want it to be in the encrypted form so whenever a hacker hacks into our database we don't want to expose users password to him okay we want that password to be encrypted in, encrypted in some type of string okay to do that uh, PHP provides a function okay which is MD5 MD5 function MD5 is basically the name of an encryption and in the PHP it is also the name of a function and that function provides us encryption okay that prevents us from from the hacker to view users passwords okay uh, before the before entering data into database we are gonna encrypt our password using md5 just write password is equal to md5 and type password password will be encrypted in md5 and will be saved in the password in the same variable that where it is and then it will be saved in the database okay let me re refresh it and show this to you how it works Choose the image. Where is my image? Here it is. I'm gonna submit. Successfully registered. I'm gonna browse. See, password is not in the plain text. It is encrypted now. It is in the MD5 string. I wrote, I wrote password in the password field, but it is not showing password. It is showing the encrypted string. Okay, it is showing this string. In this string, behind this string, the password is password. Okay. So hopefully you guys know how we can do that now we have secured our our uh, our sign up system a little bit 
now we need to do more for security now another thing that i want to share with you is mysql real escape string basically a, a, a hacker can write malicious code in these fields and can hack our database and we don't want that okay to save our database from mysql injection okay we use mysql real escape string real, real escape string function okay you can say this function saves us from sql injection okay sql injection is basically a technique to hack the databases okay just keep in mind mysql real escape string function is used to prevent from mysql injection mysql injection is basically the technique that used to hack databases okay so i'm gonna write mysql real yeah it gives me the option real escape string come on real escape string for the first name and for the last name you can do this for all the fields for the email you can do this uh, in the password i think in the password you don't need that but you can do if you like i'm gonna do this for first name last name and email okay that's enough you can do that pass for password if you like but i'm not gonna do that okay so now we have secured our sign up system very much okay now one another thing that i want to share with you is for example the name of this image is this for example a user uploads the image and the name of that image is the same that is the name of this image what will happen this image will be replaced and the new will new image will come here but we don't want that for example i registered I signs up for the system and I uploaded my image and the name of my image is one one is the name of my image and then you sign up you signs up and name of your image is also one what will happen this will replace the image okay my image will be replaced okay my image will be removed and your image will be here but we don't want that okay we want to keep all the users images to do that we need to make sure that the name oops sorry for this to do that we need to make sure that the name of the image of every person is unique and not the same to do that we need to change the name of the image okay okay just come here before uh, after the password okay what you need to do uh, 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 uh. Okay, what you need to do now is just type image is equal to we're gonna generate some random numbers. Okay, rand function is used to generate random function. We're gonna generate random functions and that will be the name of the image. Okay, and I'm gonna create random number from 0 to 100,000. Okay. 0 to 100,000 I want random numbers to be generated from 0 to 1,000 any random every time the random number will be generated and I'm going to concatenate this with other 1,000 100 of 1,000 sorry 100,000 0 to 100 oops 100,000 okay two times to make it more secure I am going to do that once again three times so it will be unique and and it will never gonna be the same okay now I'm gonna concatenate one other thing time time is always unique time can never be the same okay time is always unique every second okay so I added three random numbers and then I added time always image name will be different always and the name is never gonna be the same never 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 okay you can use this technique same for you okay so now one thing that we are forgetting is extension we have to provide extension if the image is in jpg in gif or png okay or bitmap we don't know what is the extension of the image so we have to get the extension of the image and put it right here after this time okay so how we can get the extension of an image this is how we can get the extension of an image just write image 
ex extension i'm going i'm just creating a variable image extension is equal to i'm going to use explode function explode function is used to explode a string using anything we want anything we want a dot or a semicolon anything we want but in the names of the images before the extension is the dot okay there is the name of the images and then dot and then their extension windows 7 is not showing the name uh, the extensions but uh, you can allow it to show the extension let me see where is the extensions option here it is hide extensions from noun file types apply oops now you can see it says it see uh, you can see it says dot jpg okay now the extension is shown okay and you can see uh, extension is here also shown dot jpg okay this is extension and before the extension there is dot so what we need to do we need to explode dot okay and then provide the name of the image okay it will take the name of the image and then it will explode it and then when it will explode it will this image e ext variable will become an array okay will become an array and the index 0 will have the name of the image and index 1 will have the extension of the image okay okay so now i'm going to write image ext extension is equal to to image ext one like I said it is at the at the one index of image x ext function ext variable so now I'm saving this extension in this image extension variable and I'm gonna write this in here but before the extension you know there is dot sign okay you can see here I'm gonna show you before this dpg extension there is a dot we need to write that dot okay here this dot is different this dot and this dot and this dot these dots are different these are the php's dot this dot is the name in the extension of in the name of the file or the image okay and this is the extension of the image but if you don't understand what is this and you're not understanding what i'm doing don't worry just add discussion and i'll be there to help you okay so let's check this out if it works let me refresh it Right, first name, last name, email, password, password, file, where is my file? Here it is. I'm gonna say submit. Uh, use of undefined constant image and image, image, image extension. Uh, 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 let me check what's the issue. oops sorry for that there is dollar sign there should be a dollar sign I forgot that sorry for this let me fresh it okay this is the wrong okay don't worry about that now you can see this image name is different let me upload this again let me do this again this time the name will be different let's check see this time the name is different than that so hopefully you guys understand how we can secure our sign up system so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video